and exciting music and people and so many people coming together. For me, musically, I mean, putting out introducing is a pretty important moment for me personally. I, you know, I just did one of those records which was, you know, genre defining and like, era defining. I think to be involved with something like that is always very special, you know. And I just remember when I first got that record and you know, when it was first finished and feeling, hearing it for the first time, all those things, it's really, it's really special. I, I, I have no idea in those days what records were going to sell or any of that. Well, later on, I was always disappointed with what happened with South. I always thought that first record should have done better than it did. Um, there were a lot of records that came out. There was lots of there was so much going on at the time that it was, it was, you know, it was. It, was, it, was, it, was, it always felt a little bit like we were kind of a bit of like a guinea pig, you know, like nobody ever quite knew how to market it, or sell it. So there was a lot of ha hazardness going on. There's a lot of things that fell through the cracks at that time. So I think it's, it's a pity, but people either get it or they don't, you know. And, um, we put a lot of records out, so, you know, um, well, I can't really pinpoint what any major particular moment or thing, you know, I, I, I was, you know, I was just happy to be involved in what I was doing, I was so, so into it, I didn't, I, you know, you just put records out because you love the records, you know, hopefully it's going to do all right. Yeah, in two years, control, it's all about control, it's all about control, it's all about control. By selling, you know, if you sell your record company to a, a, a corporation and get involved in that world, you're going to—it's a whole new ball game. And for me, losing that control is, is the thing that I regret the most. In my life. It's the biggest, that's the regret I have. Really. Um, and for me now, it's all about trying to be in control of my destiny and, and all of the elements that go along with that. So mm. I think that was—that's the thing that I, if you if you if you have something where you're. Where you, you know, people want it, try and keep on to it as long as you can. Yeah. I work with Chris Goss because I'm just a, a massive fan of what he does. Like Masters Reality, Queens of the Stone Age, Mark Lamigan, Caius. I, I really, I'm really into that whole sort of desert rock guitar sound and the way that he works vocals and his whole, his whole use of melody. So working with him was a pretty amazing experience and uh, pretty liberating as well because it kind of opened up a lot of doors and ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of German house records, such as labels like Get Physical, um, a lot of sort of weird um, English electronica like James Holden and stuff like that. So, uh, well, mm -hmm. so, I'm sure it'll be a great record. Yeah, it's really talented. It's both amazing.